Hi everyone, I'm Liam and in this video we're taking a look at creative profiles, what they are, where to find them and how to use them to create truly unique edits. So to understand what a creative profile is, first we need to know what a standard profile is. All edits start with a profile. That profile might be set by your camera or it could be set by the editing software that you're using such as Lightroom. And these profiles modify the color tonality, the contrast levels, and they also determine whether the image is black and white or color. And it just gives you a base to start your editing from. Some of them are really subtle and some are a little bit more noticeable. Here in Lightroom, we can see the current profile applied in the very top of the basic panel. So this one has Adobe Color set. That's the default that's applied when I imported the image into Lightroom. But just to the right of the name of the profile, you have these four little boxes, and this is the profile browser. If we head into the profile browser, we can see the Adobe Raw profiles at the top here. So Adobe Color as is currently set. Uh, we've also got monochrome. You can see that I'll switch it to a monochrome image. Uh, landscape, neutral, portrait. So these are the default Adobe profiles that are applied upon import. So you can select one of these. And just below that, you're gonna see the camera matching profiles. Now, since this image was shot on a Fuji camera, these are all the Fuji camera matching profiles. So these are what would be applied in camera if you were shooting in JPEG, but you can also go into the browser here and you can choose these when you're editing the raw file. You'll notice up at the top of the profile browser, there's an amount slider and that's currently grayed out. It doesn't allow you to adjust the amount on a standard profile. You can simply apply the profile and that's it. This is where creative profiles come in. So creative profiles can do so much more than a standard profile. You can combine multiple edits into one simple slider. So that gives you better control over your edit and also opens the door for more creative possibilities. Let's go ahead and apply a quest preset. I'm gonna go for quest 01 2, and this is gonna apply a creative profile. So with this set, that creative profile is called diffusion. And in this case, what diffusion does is it softens the edges of the frame, uh, applies a haziness to it that looks a little bit like a diffusion filter. It's set to zero as default. And as I begin to increase this, you can see it introduces that soft haziness to the edges of the frame. So here's one example of what a creative profile can do. Now let's take a look at another quest set. We go for quest 05, I'm gonna go for preset three. And you can see now it's set the Jasper profile. The Jasper profile emulates the colors that you see in a Jasper gemstone. It's set to 100 as default in this case, and you can then choose to decrease or increase that particular effect on your image. So you can see you can go from something really mild and soft all the way up to something more contrasty and more intense. So loads of flexibility, but that flexibility goes even further because you can also mix and match these profiles with presets from other collections. So if we take a look at Quest 06, I'm gonna apply Quest 06 one. And this time we're gonna go back into the profile browser up at the top right of the basic panel. And in here, we're gonna to go to another Quest set, Quest 02. I'm gonna select the incandescent profile that comes with this set. So when I choose it, it's gonna to default to 100. And then from there, I can choose to decrease or increase the effect to suit the image. And now we have a truly unique edit mixing the tones of Quest 06 with the profile from Quest 02. Here at Archipelago, we love to create tools that push the boundaries of your creativity, and we really think creative profiles do exactly that. So I hope you found this video useful and informative, and we can't wait to see what you can create with Archipelago presets.